as the Delhi High Court maintained its stay on the screening of the controversial film Bandit Queen, Indian entertainment major Amitabh Bachchan Corporation Limited's audio division, Big B, made its entry into the music market this week with the launch of the film's soundtrack, boasting of an evocative background score by Pakistani singer Ustad Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. When he launched his herbal product company some weeks back in the capital, it seemed as if he were preparing for a future after cricket. This week, the future became present when test all-rounder Manoj Prabhakar announced his retirement from international cricket. The decision came in the wake of his being dropped from the team selected for one-day championships at Singapore and Sharjah. Prabhakar, who has been a permanent fixture in the Indian team, was close to achieving a one-day double of 1,000 runs and 100 wickets. His unconventional looks and powerhouse performances in English films such as City of Joy and Wolf have already won over serious audiences abroad. But now, noted actor Om Puri looks like hitting the big time in the international scene with his latest project, the shooting of which he recently completed in South Africa. The film, called The Ghost in the Darkness, is produced by Hollywood star Michael Douglas, who also stars in it besides Val Kilmer of Batman fame. Speaking about the film, Om Puri told India this week. It's set in, actually supposed to be set in Kenya in 1898 when Britishers were building the railways there. So it's about two tigers, lions actually, uh, who were man-eaters and they had stopped this whole construction of railways and they brought the whole work to stand still for about seven, eight months. They belong to two different schools of thought and different sides of the Great Bengal Divide but they are perhaps bound by the common medium of oils and watercolours which they use to give vent to their predilections and concerns. Bengal, the East and the West, an exhibition which started this week at the capital's Art Today Gallery, showcased the half-dream, half-fantasy realm of Bangladeshi painter Maksudul Ahsan and the stark realism of Calcutta-based artist Sudeep Roy.